welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time visiting then welcome thank you so much for being here today i'm guessing you've clicked on this video because you are experiencing some tailbone pain in pregnancy i've been suffering with this a lot this pregnancy i also suffered with it in my first pregnancy um, and these are my favorite stretches that i found tend to relieve that pain the most so we will be stretching the body, we're going to be moving the body today because I really think one of the best things for the tailbone is to move the body as a whole, build a little bit of strength in your body to avoid tailbone pain happening again and again. I've definitely noticed the days where I do more yoga, so I move my body in a really good way, I definitely feel better than the days that I don't. So if this works for you, I do recommend you repeat this. I also recommend that you go ahead onto my channel and find some of my other pregnancy yoga flows, some that say full body yoga flows, and you move through some of them as well. Maybe alternate between this and a full body flow each day, just to keep the body really healthy and really mobile throughout this pregnancy. Let me know in the comments how many weeks you are, hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. Okay guys, I'm gonna take you through some super simple stretches and hopefully relieve some of that ache you're currently feeling in your tailbone area. Um, I get this a lot in pregnancy, so I totally sympathize, and this is something that I have to do, move through quite a lot to relieve this pain. So the first thing I want you to do is just bring those feet in front of you, so knees are facing the ceiling. Have these knees as wide as you need for your bum. Just popping the hands behind you so that the weight is in the hands. And as you do that, you're going to tilt yourself back onto the tailbone. And you might just feel a little bit of discomfort there as you do this. We need to massage and relieve that area. So this is exactly what this stretch does. And all you need to do here is just begin to gently rock your knees from side to side. But instead of thinking about dropping the knees, so the action is coming from the knees, try rolling through your back. So you're rolling through the lumbar spine. If we weren't pregnant, if we didn't have big bumps on the front of our bodies, I would be saying lie down on your backs, hug knees to chest and rock from side to side. But we can't lie down on our backs in pregnancy and we can't hug our knees into our chest because we've got a big bump in the way. So this is the closest thing that I've found that's the same as knees to chest for your lumbar spine. So just really focus on that rolling basically from butt cheek to butt cheek and just keep that going. And it might be that you wanna just spend a little moment on one side with the knees dropping down before heading on over to the other side. So do move through this as slowly as you would like and as many times as you need, especially if you are beginning to feel like it's massaging your tailbone and it's starting to feel like a little bit of relief, you might just wanna spend a little bit longer here. All right, let's just take one more breath if you're doing this flow real time with me. We'll then push ourselves forward so we are coming to our sit bones. We're gonna bring our right leg in, extend the left leg out to the side of the room. Just lifting the toes high, knee facing the ceiling. Make sure you're sat right on top of the pelvis and the pelvis is in neutral so you're not tilting backwards or forwards. From there, just starting to draw some circles, really small circles, with your torso. So you're rolling the body on top of the pelvis. So it's really important that whilst we're going to stretch out through the back, we also stretch out through the sides of the body, which we're going to do next. This is just a nice releasing wiggle to get us started. Make sure you go the other way and just keep breathing, really listen to your breath. All right, find some stillness in the middle and we'll come into our side bend. We're going to reach our right arm up and over as we lean towards this left leg. If you don't want to go very far, you don't have to. You do want to feel some sort of curve through the side of the body. We want to try and focus on this muscle right here in our backs. We want that to stretch out as much as we can. If it's too much with arm in the air, do feel free to pop this arm behind you. You'll still feel that stretch through the side of the body. 
And we'll just breathe in and out. Breathe into the tightness. Try and relax through your whole body. That's our aim in stretches, that we can just relax. It's not working on flexibility, it's to open the body back up. All right, let's release there, exhale. You're gonna to begin to turn towards this right leg. As you do that, bend through the left knee and just slightly adjust your hips so you're turned more towards this right leg. So this is a version of our pigeon pose if you're used to doing yoga classes. Um, we don't do pigeon pose really in pregnancy, or you might do it sometimes, but we tend to avoid it because it might overstretch the hips. But this is just a really nice way to open up that back hip in a really gentle way. I always think if you're focusing on the back of the body, on your pelvis, you also need to make sure your hips are not too tight and release through the hips. So that's why we're gonna work on the hips today as well as our lower back. So just hold it here for one more breath in. And exhale out. And we'll release from there, heading back through center, just bending that left leg in, then the right knee out, right knee to the ceiling, right toes reaching on high. And let's just move through our circles just to make sure everything is nice and released here. And as you do this, you might begin to feel a little bit of relief in your back. You might also feel a little bit of a relief or stretch through the inner thigh there. I know that's where I'm currently feeling it. And just going the other way here. And again, just remember you can make these circles as small as you like, just having a little wiggle to release through your body. I just think that's the most important thing in pregnancy that we keep moving our bodies. If we're still, if we stop, we're gonna get stiff, even if we weren't pregnant, um, we're gonna get stiff. So it becomes more important in pregnancy that we just keep the body moving. And just small little circles like this are a really great way to just keep the body mobile. All right, finding some stillness, sit nice and tall, and then we'll reach that left arm up and over, coming into our side bend, remembering the option to drop the arm down if you need to. Eyes can look up. We want to create this sort of C shape through the left side of the body here, so we can focus on that muscle in the side of our back. Hold it there, deep breaths in and out. And gently releasing, rise on up. We'll start to turn towards our top leg. We're bending it through that right knee. Once you've bent that knee, just slightly adjusting your hips so you're, you're facing your front knee as much as you can, but please don't force it, just so you feel a gentle opening of that right hip. And we'll just hold it here and breathe. Nice deep breaths in and out as we gently, gently, gently stretch it open through our back hip there. Deep breaths. And exhale, release, move back through center. Bring those feet back in front of you, lean back onto that tailbone, hands supporting you on the ground, rock the knees from side to side. This time, if you want, just popping those feet down and then rolling or experimenting with lifting the toes as we were doing before and just seeing which one for you means you can roll deeper into your back. So that's what we want to achieve. You might need to move those toes with you to really get that roll. That's it, couple more. Keep breathing. And find some stillness, come on up. We're gonna come round now onto all fours so we can release through the spine. So we're popping those hands down on the ground. Start with a long flat back looking down between your thumbs. 
and then on our exhale we're just going to gently round through the spine really focus on your lumbar spine exhale back into that flat back that's it and then take an inhale here exhale we round you can hold it here for a full breath cycle really feeling this part of your back opening up when you're ready release back through your flat back and just moving through a few more of these to feel that lovely release in your lumbar spine. Last one. And once you've reached centre, just beginning to circle your hips one way and then when you're ready you can change direction and go the other way so you're just really freeing up through your lower back through the hips through the pelvis and already now let's go the other way again i'm feeling a nice release in my tailbone change that direction so hopefully you're beginning to feel some relief too. All right, just finish with a little wiggle from side to side, wiggle those hips, that's it. Couple more breaths, awesome. All right, we're gonna make our way to standing for a couple of postures now. So just stepping your left leg through, followed by your right, keep knees nice and bent, and then as slowly as you need, rise all the way up. And from there, we're just going to step this left leg back to the 45 degree angle into warrior one. Square your hips, extend arms high. Make sure your glutes switch on here to protect your lower back and you're lifting and lengthening through the sides of the body. Now, the reason I wanted to throw some warriors into our flow today is because I think it's really important to move the body as a whole and to build strength in the body as a whole in order to not get this pain in our tailbone. So if you're trying to relieve that tailbone pain, another really nice thing to do is just work on that full body strength. Open up into warrior two here, bending into your right leg, look over your front arm and just slightly press this hip out the back foot's parallel with the short end of your mat. And just take one more inhale. And then we're going to start to turn towards the back of our mat. So towards that left leg, all the way round into warrior one on the other side. Reach those arms high. Again, engage your glutes. Lengthen through the spine. Relax your shoulders down. Let's work on strengthening and opening through the whole body now. and open into warrior two look over your left arm off into the distance all right we repeat turn back to the top end of your mat towards your right foot into warrior one reach those arms high squeeze your glutes open into warrior two Bending into the right leg, hold it there, press this knee wide, draw in, bump to spine, and over to that left leg, reach arms high, eyes can look up, squeeze your glutes, big breath in, and exhale to open, last time into warrior, look over that front arm. and release come on out of that come all the way down onto the ground now we're going to bring the soles of the feet together allow the knees to fall nice and wide into Balakonasana. a nice opening for the front of the hips make sure you're sat right on top of the pelvis again it's not tilting too far backwards or too far forwards inhale exhale you can take a gentle fold down towards your feet so I want you to really curve through the spine here if your bump will allow. 
curving right into the very base of your spine as you fold the body forwards. Deep breaths in and out. gently release come on up just bringing those knees in last time we're going to repeat that pose we started with hands to the back of the mat lean yourself back onto the tailbone notice if it feels any different for you for me it definitely does i'm not saying the tailbone pain has completely gone because that would be a lie uh, but it definitely feels a bit better for me so just gently swinging those knees from side to side listening to your body to see how quickly and how far you want to drop these knees and really focus on rolling from side to side that's where the movement's coming from nice deep breaths and that's it walk yourself back up come to cross legs sit nice and tall Let's just finish with a deep breath in together. Reach those arms high, let hands meet. Exhale to your heart space. Connect thumbs, bow through the head. And thank you so much for joining me for this short, sweet practice today. And there we go. Thank you so much for joining me for that 15 minute short, sweet practice to relieve pain in the tailbone area. I hope this worked for you. I hope you're feeling some relief. As I said at the beginning of this video, do follow on with a full body pregnancy yoga flow to keep the body nice and strong and nice and mobile throughout your pregnancy. If you did enjoy this video today, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, leave me a comment, just come say hi, and hit that subscribe button to join the Lemon Yoga family. I'd love to have you here. I will see you next time. Bye.